Welcome back, my friends. Hush Gardeners, Ahlan wa Sahlan. This is video three of the IDX Pro series that I'm doing. Today, we're going to specifically be looking at the receive coil. I'm making a DD coil for um, this uh, VLF project, and we're going to build a tank circuit and look about uh, what it takes to tune the uh, coil to specific uh, frequency which you need to for the IDX Pro. So here on the screen here see this nice square wave we have an amplitude of uh, 10 volts this is channel 1 and channel 2 you see a nice ringing well that's the uh, receive coil with the ringing and we'll we'll explain that and take a look at that closely let's take a look and see what our signal generator is set at I'll give you a shot of that and then we'll look at the circuit itself okay there's our signal generator you can see we've got uh, 10 volts amplitude frequency is set up for 100 Hertz we have a nice square wave and we've got a 50 percent duty cycle okay so let's take a look next at the physical circuit then I'll show you my uh, drawing to maybe explain it a little bit better okay so looking at circuits like this it's always difficult uh, but I wanted to give you a, a, a peek at it before I show you the drawing um, we've got red and black leads from the signal generator this is our uh, capacitive coupling uh, capacitor and two leads from the, the coil and here we have our two capacitors in parallel which are in parallel with the coil alright so once again we have our, our uh, square wave coming from the signal generator and on channel 2 this is the reaction that we have on the receive coil okay and let's let's dial in and take a little bit closer look at that all right we'll dial in a little bit further and then we're going to make use of our cursors so the whole point of looking at this ringing waveform is that we want to see one complete cycle and then we're going to figure out our uh, frequency based on that because we're looking for a frequency on this receive coil of about uh, 4.75 uh, kilohertz and depending on a combination of the inductance of the coil and the uh, capacitance that we add to that we can tweak that frequency so we have our cursors here I have cursors selected and we're gonna set our first cursor up at the uh, start of this wave here so cursor A move that over there until it crosses the zero point and cursor B move this out of here move that over until we get one complete cycle and it's kind of a eyeball effect but you can see here's the waveform and that's that's one cycle so we have cursor A and cursor B and you can do this out obviously uh, with math according to the time that this takes but 
the wonderful thing about these digital oscilloscopes they do it all for you right up here 4.74 kilohertz I'm gonna call that close enough so let's take a quick look at the diagram and we'll call it a day all right as promised I said we would take a, a look at a uh, very crude drawing of the circuit but this will give you an idea of how I set it up as opposed to just looking at the rat's nest that you saw previously which nobody would ever be able to figure that out so over here we have our signal generator and it is producing a nice uh, square wave as I showed you over here we have our two-channel oscilloscope right we have our tank circuit down here so we have uh, our red and black leads running from the signal generator so the red lead comes over here to our um, capacitor which we're using as a, a coupling capacitor in my case I used a 2.2 um, nanofarad capacitor and then we have our inductor this is our receive coil okay and in parallel with the receive coil we have the tuning capacitor or in this case we had two capacitors in parallel I am just uh, showing a single capacitor here so our channel one lead is going to be hooked up right here and that is going to show us the square wave and our channel two is going to be hooked up right here and that's going to show us what's going on with the inductor and this capacitor all right and I've drawn the ground clips in here just to be as accurate as possible so that's what that circuit looks like and once again we're doing this in order to establish the correct uh, frequency we are looking for approximately 4.75 kilohertz for the receive coil for the IDX Pro and in order to get that you need to uh, change the values of this capacitor right here to zero it in I used a combination of a 22 uh, nanofarad capacitor and a 4.7 nanofarad so remember uh, capacitors in parallel are additive so that's all we have for today guys thank you for watching and more to come